Guys, I just want you to be uh, praying for me. I want to just share this quick word with you and just share a little bit of background of, you know, what's going on. So I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was this guy um, he's from Rig Nation. He had prophesied that, you know, he saw that we had nine years to get it right. Now, he wasn't saying that we had nine years, you know, and then Jesus was going to come back. He said we have nine years for the church to get things right. And then today, all of a sudden on the news, we see John Kerry um, talking about not literally, he said nine years, uh, you know, climate change. And if we don't get it right, you know, end of the world, all that kind of stuff. But it was just so odd to me. I remember when I saw the guy prophesy that he specifically said nine years. And then all of a sudden the news, not eight years, not 10 years, they're saying nine years as well. And so, you know, obviously all this Trump stuff has been happening. You guys know for seven years, you know, I've been warning about a second wave and persecution is going to come through legislation. And a lot of times I get very frustrated to the point of tears, you know, that, you know, man, the church isn't waking up. A lot of people are trying to water down the church. And I know I come across arrogant a lot of times, but the problem really is, is that first of all, I want unity in the body of Christ. I see everybody else uniting and I feel like God is calling for us to unite you know if it's not a heaven or hell issue we should be coming together and so you know one thing that a lot of people don't know about me i've always had a pastor i have people that i answer to i have people that i go and get counsel from you know ask them what do you think about this what do you feel about this you know we have our prayer meetings and one thing because of the position i have i have christians from every different kind of denomination inside that are pulling on me, you know, for some, for example, with the Trump thing, some people are rebuking me. They say, man, you, you lost the faith. And then there's another group, you know, oh, you got to repent. And, and it's not just that it's with anything. Right. And so sometimes I get discouraged because it's just so many different views there's so many different voices. And then a lot of times what people are saying is conflicting with what I feel like God is showing me. And so I feel just, you know, an immense amount of attack. Now, people can say whatever they want about me. But one thing I always tell you guys, pray about everything that I post in the video. Don't take my word for it. Study for yourself. Pray for yourself. Seek God for yourself. So people want to say, oh, you know, I'm misleading people or whatever they want to say. The reality is I'm always pointing people to seek God for themselves and wake up and repent and get a serious prayer life about, you know, just the times that we're living in. And so. When I was in South Korea, I remember I did this video, you know, it got millions of views on Facebook and I was in the train station in South Korea and I said, man, the train is coming. You know, the train is coming. Don't miss it. It was one of those, you know, repent and get right videos. And the other day I'm sitting there, man, watching everything that, you know, is going on in the world. And I just felt like, and this is what I felt. All right, this is what I felt. I'm not saying God told me. I'm saying this is what I felt. I felt like we're on the train. We are on the train and it is moving. And where we are going is an expected end. And people are so blind and so lukewarm and so... <sighs> I know that God wants to move. And I know that we're going to have revival. And I don't understand every single thing that is going on. But I know that God is in control. And man, I just want people to wake up and see like, you might not agree with what I say that, you know, I feel like God is showing me. But there's this watered down Christianity in America that is rising up. And I talked about it in the last video and it's so blatantly anti-Christ. It's so blatantly against the Bible and people are so blind and they're supporting the people who are pushing this kind of stuff. And it just, it, it grieves me, man. I wish you people would see like, man, I'd be praying and I'd just be crying tears because I'm like, Lord, and it's so many different voices. People are arguing and every Christian, you know, feels that they're a prophet or they got to work. Notice I've never said that I'm a prophet. I just get on here and I share with you guys what I feel that God has given me in prayer. And one thing that I know is, yes, we're going to have revival, but casual Christians are going to be casualties. Anytime there was a great move of God, there was just, you know, 
uh, a great uh, conflict going on uh, in, in the Bible times, you know, with, with the people of God. And so one thing that I'm just looking at is like, Lord, I don't want to miss it. I don't care what everybody else is doing. I want to be involved in the move of God that is happening in these end times. I don't want to miss it no matter what. And that's something I pray every day. Lord, I don't want to miss it. Guys, we are on the train. I don't I don't know. People have different political views, but it's like I almost feel like I'm not even here sometimes. It feels like something has just something shifted in the atmosphere and it wasn't a good shift and something shifted in America and it wasn't. A, and I know, OK, yeah, Biden is president. I'm talking about in the spirit. That's why I told you guys, I feel like something's big coming. I told you guys, I feel like, man, this thing is not finished. You know, they still got the, the troops up at the Capitol. Something just is, is not sitting in my spirit right, man. And the only thing I know is that we better be praying and we better be seeking God. Now is not the time to play around with God. I tell you guys what I feel. And I want you guys to just go pray about it. Like we got to be desperate for God. We got to be desperate for the truth. We got to be desperate for his spirit, desperate for the anointing, desperate to be pleasing in his eyes. And guys, a lot of times I know I come across all uh, arrogant, especially on, on Facebook, but it's just so much attack and there's so many different pipe people just do it like this and don't do it like this and you need to be more like this and be less like this and preach more grace and, and preach more this and preach more that and don't preach that and don't talk about that or keep talking about that and it's like because i'm in a position i'm in i've got people from every side i'm like lord what do you want me to do what do you want me to do and i'm trying to respect these people because i know that they have the spirit of god and i know that we all got flaws and we all got issues but everybody's saying something different everybody's got a different point of view and they get it's discouraging because i'm like god we're supposed to have one spirit so what is going on and then i just end up weeping on my face and i'm like lord just please keep me keep me that's something i suggest all of us pray lord keep me keep me in these trying times keep me in this crazy world just keep me jesus so y'all just pray for me guys just pray for me god is in control i know that we're gonna have revival regardless I know that many, I'm not alone. I know many people are feeling what I'm feeling, you know, in my in my spirit as well. It's not just me. And, you know, I often I see a lot of people that are correcting me, you know, even with the whole, you know, Trump stuff and thing. I'm not going to get into all that again. But the reality is I pray about that too. And I'm like, Lord, most of the people that got something to say, they don't like Trump. So their perspective is not even pure. They can't understand when I say, oh, it's bigger than Trump. There's something that's so much bigger. They can't understand when I say God told me the corruption was going to be uh, coming out and it's going to look like a movie and people don't believe it. They they just get so caught up in the individual. They can't see the bigger picture. But I know I'm not alone. And I just I just I don't know. I just feel like something in my spirit is just not. It's hard to explain. We on the train. These are the end times. They call hey, they talk about they call this group uh, Generation Z. I, I don't even believe that's just like an accident or a co uh, accident or coincidence. So I just challenge you, make sure that you're right with God. Make sure you're just working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Love you guys. Thank you guys for all of you who are supporting Firehouse. Um, I'll give you guys updates soon. www.marcusrogersministries.org. Y'all have a wonderful day in Jesus' name.